thinking of the relationship between righteousness and friendship. God said to Abraham when he was 99 years old, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and I will multiply you exceedingly. Wow. God Almighty, God of creation, God sovereign over all things, speaks to Abraham and says, walk before me. That's relationship. And be blameless. That's righteousness. How does that work? And then James, on reflecting on the life of Abraham, shares these thoughts in James 2, verse 23. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, and Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see that a man is justified by works and not by faith alone. So it's really faith, but also works expressing that faith. And of course, Abraham walked in relationship with God. So righteousness is a, with God is relationship. And Jesus describes that as friendship. In John 15, 14, you are my friends. If you do what I command you, no longer do I call you slaves. For a slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you my friends. For all things that I have heard from my father have I made known to you. So the kingdom is relational. It's a revelation to us on earth of the righteousness that's grasped by faith in Jesus and then walked every day in our words and our works as we center our life in him. He is the righteousness of God received by faith. But this is awesome. Uh, we are children of Abraham today. Walk before me and be blameless. He grasped by faith the righteousness it's credited to him as a gift in Jesus Christ as he looked to the future. That's ours today. And we call that friendship, love, relationship, truth, grace, giving to others what they don't deserve because we receive from God a friendship that we don't deserve. And so Jesus prays this prayer for all of us. It's about righteousness and it's about friendship, which is all about relationship, which is what the kingdom is, koinonia, fellowship. Perhaps we can talk about that sometime. John 17, 25. O righteous father, although the world has not known you, yet I have known you. These have known that you sent me, and I have made your name known to them and will make it known so that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. That's righteousness. Righteous father, a conversation. God, who is love, speaking to God, who is love, and then speaking about those that he loves that we would be in his righteousness, be his friends, and walk in relationship with him every day. Beautiful thoughts. Just thought I'd share that with you.